No way, James Cameron. We found number 1997, baby! This is the happiest day of my life! I'm Titanic Fan 97, the owner of the world's largest collection of Titanic on VHS. As you can see right now, we have all the walls filled up with Titanic on VHS. Check oh that out. Got Jack Dawson, Captain Smith, and all of our TVs are playing Titanic on VHS. They called it the ship of dreams, and it is. It really is. The year was 1997 in December. I saw it when it first came out, and I've loved Titanic ever since. As I've been big in the film my whole life. I went to film school, so I'm, I'm heavy in the film culture, and uh, this movie for sure shaped the way I interpreted movies. I mean, this is like the first big movie I ever watched as a kid, six years old, watching Titanic. I mean, it, it has to do something to you because I mean, it was Titanic mania at one point and uh, we watched this movie over and over and over again as, and for sure now, because I'm so involved with Titanic, it's changed everything about my daily life where it's, it kind of revolves around Titanic at this point. I get so many packages, so I'm always at the post office collecting more Titanic or going to thrift stores and finding Titanic. So it's it's definitely changed me forever. <laughs> when did you start collecting VHS? September 1st, 1998. Take the voyage home. That's what they were saying. That's when it came out on VHS. And that's when I got my first copy back in the day. We didn't start collecting until about 2012. When uh, we went to the thrift store and saw a bunch of Titanic really cheap. And ever since then, every thrift store we went to, we just collected more and more Titanic. Until about, I would say a year ago, I started making videos about my collection. And ever since then, it kind of just took off online. I had no control over, you know, all the masses of people who shared it and sent in Titanics. And yeah, it was a good idea to just start documenting it at this point, you know. So about... 74% of my collection is donated. We've only bought in around like 420 around there. So we don't, you know, a lot of this is donations. Were you surprised when you got the first copies that people send you? Yeah, I mean, that's when I knew it, it was something special because I didn't think anyone would submit to me. There's like, no way, no, no one's gonna send me Titanic. And then all of a sudden I'm opening sealed copies of Titanic. And I was like, whoa, like the good stuff, you know? I think the most valuable to me is the piece of the actual Titanic right here. Uh, someone su submitted a real piece of Titanic, fully authenticated by the way. Yeah, people send in like really nice things. I have like rare VHSs people send in display only. Uh, these are hard to find. So I have like a few of these copies people send in. Uh, some artwork people send in or like these rocks with Titanic painted on them, which are really, really cool. People build me Legos sometimes with Jack Dawson holding Titanic on VHS. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And I even get sometimes uh, art projects. So someone will crochet Jack Dawson from Titanic on VHS. And he looks so cool. Look at that hair. Oh, man, with those eyes that don't tell lies, that's Jack Dawson. This is one of my favorites. This is a Titanic cup right there. Oh, man, check that out. Really, really cool. I don't know if I can stop. They made 25 million. I always said once I get 1 million, I might stop. Um, so 1 million is like the final goal. But after 1997, I'm going right to 3,000, the 4,000, the 5,000. You know, we can't stop this. And so many people don't want me to stop. You know, they want me to continue this journey and they have more tapes to send in. They're like, please don't stop. We have a bunch of tapes we just found. So uh, I don't see myself stopping anytime soon. And I would love to meet James Cameron one day. I mean, that's kind of the goal. I don't know if he's a fan or not, <laughs> if he's ever seen my stuff. But yeah, one day I would love to meet James Cameron. The